Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I'm gonna talk about the Wolfman. Well, um, I hope I scared you at the beginning of this video. Uh, anyway, um, about the Wolfman, and uh, yet again I'm gonna talk about Daffy Duck's Quackbusters, but um, it'll be the last time I talk about it uh, on, my beat, on my channel, you know, for a long time. Well, anyway, about the Wolfman. Yeah, I did. I first saw him on Daffy Duck's Quackbuster, only um, I didn't know who he was at the time. Um, it was uh, during Daffy Duck's song, you know, he was howling along to a part of the song. Yeah, now, um, as for werewolves in general, I uh, learned about them from an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yes, um, it was back, you know, when uh, Snake was new, and I will make a video about Top Lock, you know, someday. But uh, this is about a Wolfman. And a Gold Werewolf. And yes, in, a, in that episode, I learned, you know, that uh, people turn into werewolves uh, when they're the full moon. And that's uh, mostly we never at the time. And, you know, over the years, I still learned more about them, like about silver bullets. Silver bullets, and that, um, People during the world was by uh, a bite. In fact, when I was very little, after watching that episode, I was afraid that my father might turn into a werewolf whenever there uh, was a full moon. Every time he was, you know, picking up, picking me up from my uh, relative's house. You know, never coming there after school. Now, um, as a, uh, and I remember there was an episode of Goosebumps uh, with the werewolves. And of course, uh, there was a werewolf in the night before Christmas. And uh, okay, also, uh, as I got older, I learned that in Spanish, uh, werewolf is uh, hombre lobo. And uh, oh, yes, when I was a teenager, I never watched this documentary on History Channel about werewolves. And one of the things I learned was that, um, that, uh, well, um, well, it suggested that the wolf from uh, Red Riding Hood was uh, probably a werewolf because he can talk, but the thing is, uh, if uh, the wolf in the Red Riding Hood story is a werewolf because he can talk, then what about the uh, other talking animals in the fairy tale? And uh, oh, as for uh, the uh, Wolfman movie, well, um, I did try to uh, wanted to rent a movie on Blockbuster, but um, you know, the year after I saw Frankenstein and Dracula, that that wasn't uh, available the year after. And then the year after that, uh, the four movies about the four universal monsters, or the four main ones, well, the blockbuster didn't have it anymore. And, oh yes, I, remember, I forgot something like, uh, also remember that in Big Bad Beetleborg, there was a character uh, called Wolfgang who was a parody of the Wolfman. Only of course he um, used the um, the uh, Universal uh, movie monster of the Wolfman uh, looked different than the Wolfgang because well um, the big bad beautiful one well uh, his head shape was similar to um, a different mine. Of course um, he had gray fur and the mask uh, you saw me wear was of course has black hair. I mean Blackbird. So anyway, um, yes. Oh, and I did eventually got a chance to see uh, the Wolfman. You know, the classic, the one with the uh, long chain. I think the same was. And uh, you know, I saw the similarities because you see, I remember there was this episode of Boy Meets World uh, where uh, Corey thought he was bitten by a werewolf. Only uh, turns out was a bunny. Oh, and also there was supposed to be another parody of werewolf over the wolf movie where uh, of dinosaurs where uh, Robbie thought uh, well Robbie he was telling uh, this story to his baby brother about maybe some kind of like a, a werewolf or whatever it's called and when with this uh, line says uh, hey it's a thing that uh, we are afraid of they don't understand you know kind of like a parody of you know how those um, and all monster those old black and white monster movies where uh, you have uh, angry villagers with pitchforks and torches. 
Oh, and also there was an episode of Mother Babies where a robot dog had a dream where he turned into a weird boy. And uh, also for other weird boy stuff, ah, uh, yes, um, it has been the TV show uh, Big Wolf on Campus. It's about this uh, guy named Tommy who turned into a wolf, werewolf, but uh, he was a good werewolf who uh, sort of hurt him before he helped them by fighting, you know, supernatural forces that, you know, try to uh, take over the world and stuff. And of course, um, most of the images of werewolves we see today, well, um, have come a long way from, you know, the the Long Cheney movie. And um there's, and there's some other world of movies I plan to watch someday. I mean um I mean one day I will get a chance to at least finally watch Werewolf in London and um uh, I think there's a movie called American Werewolf in London, I don't remember, but um yes and maybe if I go to Universal Studios uh someday, maybe I'll go to uh Universal Monster Cafe. If only bits of rubber then. And well, I don't remember there was a werewolf there. Yeah, and uh, the movie Ben Helsing. Uh, yes, I need to look it up later. Just to make sure. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, I remember now. Oh, and the werewolf mask. Uh, the werewolf mask that, uh, you know, I showed you earlier today uh, in the video. Well, um, that uh, I bought for my um, back when I was in high school. I think it was during my senior year. Or maybe it was my junior year, I don't remember. No, no, it wasn't my senior year yet. And, uh, you know, um, whenever, uh, you know, I mean, this one year when I was wearing that mask for Duke of Theaters, uh, there was a little bit of so scary. And, uh, you know, there was a Halloween party with uh, my father's side to tell me, and, um, the female cousin I had, she was like uh, two years old at the time, and uh, she didn't want to look at my mask. And I guess uh, you understand why, because, you know, so many people thought that was so scary. And, you know, that was what I was going for. I wanted the uh, scariest uh, world mask uh, I wanted to get. Plus, um, I think that mask is what, uh, what I would look like if I did turn into the werewolf. I mean, I already have black hair. And, uh, yes, and, um, I don't know. Oh, yes, and I have, I have also seen the music video thriller, the part where, um, with, uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah, and, uh, hope one day I will might... Yeah, hopefully one day I might make a, a world video, I don't know. Because, you know, I'm still, uh, doing, um, this thing right now, but, um, in due time, I'll try to Probably scary for Halloween someday. Probably not this year because um, you know um, I'm just you know I'm doing what I should have done when I first started. And, oh yes, and um, oh yeah, for a while World was my my favorite masters for some time as well, and I have seen them um, you know. It's more about the Jacob character. I think the movies, uh, the Twilight movies, with the Jacob character in it. Of course, that's not the kind of werewolf I kind of grew up with. I mean, I grew up with more of the, uh, well, you know, the 80s and 90s depiction of werewolves. Because, you know, the classic like a white one, he's, uh, well, looks nothing like the mask they wear. And, you know, And of course, oh yeah, sometimes I wear that mask, you know, to scare some relatives, you know, around Halloween time. I don't know, I try to think about what else I can say about, you know, the wolfman and werewolf. Oh yes, I remember. I also, I said the wolfman, the wolfman mask, I mean, the werewolf mask I have. Well, that was, um, the first... I wore at the horror convention. Yeah, it was called Walker Stalker Con, and well, um, it was in a box and for the last two years, I think. Of course, uh, it was scary. Oh, sorry, something happened here. Oh, yeah, I remember there was a werewolf in Halloween Town as well. 
Oh yeah, and now we never something now. And well now um the her plans for universal must be here you know in order to Oh yes, now never and something now. Yes, there was the um that the Wolfman was part of uh you know the universal monster cinematic universe. I mean you would think the Marvel was the first to do something like that, to have a uh, cinematic universe, but Universal was the first, starting with the monsters. The Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, the Wolfman. And uh, yeah, I, I was I wish I could see more, but for something at the moment I cannot think of anything else to say about the werewolves or the wolfman. I mean I'm talking all I can figure right now. And as I miss out anything, I'm sorry, yes as you know um I guess there wasn't that much to talk about, I mean there, uh, as much there are a lot of robot movies around, they haven't seen much of them, you know, growing up. But uh, I do know what they are, and you know, they use, and yes, they use a scary one as a kid, but as I got older, uh, they, didn't, they didn't bother me as much. Just like much of all the monsters. And I think that's all I can say about it. But, uh, before I go, I would like to let you know that uh, I like to do something special uh, for Halloween uh, this year. I don't know if I'm going to do anything, because um, if I'm going to sell anything this year on Halloween Day, because, well, you know, I'm, I've only been on for a liner for uh, a few months now, and um, so far I haven't made any friends to invite me to, um, you know, Halloween parties, and there is no, um, like, carnival that has any Halloween that, you know, close by. I mean, I don't know where the nearest one is, and I tried to look for events in uh, this town here. And I've heard of some events, but this one's for children. I'm looking for something that's mainly for adults or for all ages, because, well, you see, um, you know, I can live in uh, Orlando or Los Angeles, and I cannot go to either Disney World or Disneyland for the Halloween celebrations they have every year. Not even Universal Studios. I mean, uh, I wish I could do that, but well, my, situ my situation is, uh, you know, it's, um, doesn't go for it right now. Maybe one day uh, I'll do better next year, but uh, it all depends how it goes. But you know, whatever it happens. So, so if I cannot show you any Halloween, quarter Halloween stuff uh, later this month, then maybe um, next year and after this video, I will uh, go back to uh, talking about the things I like and of course uh, see what other stuff I can do. So uh, until then, I see you next time. Bye.